My intro music. You ever you watch my regular videos? And there's this music that I have going. And the intro and outro. Well, this is the whole track. Started in just a few minutes. Um, may just be a few of us today, but hey, you know what that means? That means it's even a more intimate setting. You get more one on one if you got questions or whatever, concerns or whatever. It's just us. Real Boss Babe from California, welcome and thank you so much for joining. It's going to be a wonderful day. I'm just going to wait just a little bit longer. And you know what? Um, While I'm waiting, somebody had a question about um, what computer did I end up buying? if I can find that and show you real quick it's nothing special it was just something I needed to update I mean my computer was just so old just join Ty aka Flex welcome to the live stream
but I'm going to put a link if anybody wants this computer. I'm not recommending it, but since um, somebody was asking about it, So yeah, this is the computer that I got. Now, of course, I paid more for that, but I upgraded the uh, the RAM and I upgraded the um, to a, a more powerful video card. But I'll put a link to where you can get one if you're interested. I'm not saying that you should get it. I just I needed something better than what I had. So guys, we're going to go ahead and get started um, with who we got. Whoever joins, welcome. Glad you could make it. But um, just a quick overview. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking for products together. And we're going to be talking about the software that I love. You guys know I like tactical arbitrage. You guys know that I'm a working class hustler. You know, if you follow this channel, that is a term that I uh, affectionately use for people like me who work a full time job, but also uh, want to hustle on the side, you know, and if that's you, hey, you in the right place, you know, and there's a couple of things I always like to cover. You know, why are you doing this? You've heard this many times because a lot of you who are doing this you study uh, personal development, which means you listen to gurus, coaches, um, you know, self-help people and motivational speakers. And they always talk about your why. You have to know why you're doing something because it's that why that's going to keep you going when things get tough and they're going to get tough. That That is not going to change. Anything worthwhile having, it's got to be worth the struggle to you. So that's why you have to keep your why right in front of you. But you're here now. This is what to sell on Amazon. You're part of this family. You don't have to do it alone. There's a number on your screen and that number is there for a reason. It's there so that you can reach out and contact me for whatever it is that you need. If you really want to do this, if you're serious, uh, you have that number. Everybody talks about connecting on social media, connecting here. There. You ain't connected unless you got my number. I don't care who you like and what what you tweet. If you ain't got my personal number, we ain't connected. So I'm giving you that. The question is for yourself. The question is, what are you going to do with it? But we'll get into that a little later. So, so an overview, we're going to go over a few items in tactical arbitrage. I, I have searches running already and we're going to go through maybe I'm going to say five or six products because we're going to keep this video as brief as we can. Um, you know me, I'll get the yakking and I'll never shut up. But um, <laughs> the format we're going to use is um, we're going to look at a product and then afterwards I'll kind of check over and see if you guys had any questions that I didn't get to yet. If you if you got anything, any concerns or something that may have come up, I'll address that. Then we'll go back to the next one so we're going to get going but before we do that there's a ritual here at what to sell on amazon so you're going to repeat after me and i can't hear you but you're going to say it to yourself um it's very simple good things are supposed to happen to you you're going to say it again Good things are supposed to happen to you. That is the mindset. That is the attitude. That is the mantra. And that is the approach that we're going to take from now on. You have to understand uh, this around here at what to sell on Amazon. We don't believe in coincidence. There's a reason that you're here right now. Right now, you're here with me for a reason. I had a dream that I was going to share what I know with anyone who would be interested. And then you came. That's called the law of attraction. And that's what we subscribe to around here. And that's powerful because you are not 
alone. And there is a reason and a purpose that you're doing this right now. It is your responsibility to figure out what that is. But, uh, and I'm going to just touch on one more thing before we get going. This is so important, guys. You know, you should be proud that you're here right now. I mean, you could be on YouTube watching funny cat videos or garbage, but you, you got to understand there's certain habits of successful people. And one of the things that they're constantly doing is feeding their minds with information that can help them to get ahead. The more you learn, the more you earn. So you're in the right place. You're at the right time. And now we're going to get started. So let's see. Let me get over to where I can show you my screen. So here you can see we are in um, tactical arbitrage. This is the login screen that you would see when you um, when you first come. And we're going to talk about a few more, a few things that I usually don't cover. I usually kind of go over the plans, but let's just look at this page that you're going to look up, that you're going to see when you when you come here. Um, right here, I'm just going to read this for a second. Um, when sourcing, you're going to be using a 20% coupon code. Okay, so for example, if if you know you're using a discount site that's going to save you say 20% for example then you can you can put that in there so that the system already factors in that discount rate that way it's not necessarily taking from the price that's on the website you're sourcing at it's taking that price and taking out whatever your discount is going to be so if you're doing things like gift card granny or uh, these these different coupon sites you can put that in there um, reverse lookup scan tens of thousands of ASINs using reverse search to determine if there's a profitable source I would go a little bit deeper and I'm gonna show you a little bit about that but what's so powerful about reverse lookup let's say during a regular search you're telling the software hey go to this store say target you're saying go to target look under this category and find me deals that I can get at Target. With reverse search, you're saying you're telling the software, hey, go to Amazon, find the best products in this category, and you figure out what stores I can get it at with the filters that I put in under my parameters. I want to make at least $10. I want it to have at least so many sales per month, whatever. But you're telling the software, go right to Amazon, pull out the best selling products in a particular category and you go around and scour the internet and try and find that for a for what I consider a deal. Now think about how powerful that is. That that is super. And then tactical edge I I've, I've shown that and I'll continue to show it because it gives you deep analysis when you're considering a product. It puts everything that you're going to need right in front of you. That is so important. So Let's get logged in. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to go ahead and get logged in. And once you get logged in, this is what everything looks like. Let me just refresh this and make sure I'm in there. And I am. Um, oh, I almost forgot. We got to qualify me as a capable instructor for you, right? Why would you be listening to me? Well, today is February the 8th. The year is 2020. We just did an update and we've sold four items today. We've sold 524 in the last 30 days and we're hovering around 12,000. So I always like to show what I'm doing and it's not always up. It goes up and down. This is what's called transparency. So I'm not going to wait until everything is looking nice and pretty to show you when it's time to film. We film and whatever it is, is what you're going to see. So when you come to your screen, 
there's a few things in front of you. It's really not that important, but in your search manager, you can see I have 12 searches active. I don't know, I don't know how many you can show active, you know, how many active search searches you can have at once. At one time it was limited to 10, but it looks like apparently they've increased that. I don't know exactly, but I'll tell you what we can do. First of all, it doesn't matter the site, but real quick, I'm going to show you how to do a search. And it's kind of important because this, this software can be intimidating uh, because it doesn't always work the way you want it to. Now, remember you have your advanced view and your basic. We're in basic right now. Here's advanced for when you're getting ready to do a basic, uh, well, when you're ready to do a search. And then in this case, you would come here to find the website. What I like to do is keep it in basic just to kind of look because you, these uh, fonts and different logos for different stores that you're familiar with kind of pop out. And let's say, uh, I'm just gonna say we were, we were looking at Belk. You might not. In basic, this is where you would start to put in everything. I wouldn't do it that way, but say Belk, stood out to me. So now I've decided I'm going to do a search at Belk. Before I do anything, I'm going to come over, toggle over to advance, click on website, and then begin to type Belk and you'll see it kind of populate. Now we have it out here. Now, here's an important thing you want to look at. When you start, when you're getting ready, when you're ready to begin the search, see where this says zero out of 500? That should be populated with a number. Now, the system will not allow you more than 500 categories. That's why this is saying zero out of 100 because the maximum categories that you can have is 500. But say, once you got that figured out, then you wanna see on the particular site, wait, let me get my glasses. It's a shame. <laughs> but anyway, let's say you wanted to go clearance, clearance and bag, clearance handbags, clearance home. Uh, and then as you're adding these categories, you see down here, it's saying four categories added. Um, You might say home. Now look it, now you're getting close to that 500. So you see how this starts? Then you might say toys and games, and that may be enough. So remember, you're zero right here. You see how many categories. Now you're going to try to add this. This doesn't always work. If it doesn't, I'll show you what to do. So we'll click add and look it. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Nothing happened. If nothing happened, what you wanna do is just what you want to do. You see where this comes in and it says delete current easy bulk. You're going to want to delete that. That's where the problem is. There's a glitch in the system with that. Um, and a lot of times what I do is I'll just come out to the dashboard and go back. Okay. And then you just do it all over again. No big deal. But if you didn't know this, you're thinking what the heck is going on and you're going to be stuck in that loop until you finally get that cleared out so remember that but we'll so we'll do it again we'll say bed and bath we'll say clearance uh clearance home and remember if if you go bed and bath you may want to open that up. Maybe you don't want to do betting. Maybe you don't want to do certain things within that. So you can, wherever you see that little toggle arrow, you can open that up and get more specific in your search. So for us, we're going to put the toys in there. Uh, 
clearance, bed and bath, clearance handbags. We'll leave it right there. Now you see 124 categories selected. We'll click add to both. And now you see it populated. Now you know you're ready to move on to your filters. Now, I know that I'm gonna to have to pay 6% sales tax, so I'll go ahead and put that in there. That way, the system will calculate that for you. Uh, if I wanna remove something. Now you notice, I go high with my ranks. I know a lot of people, oh, under 100,000. Yeah, but when you set it like that, you're gonna miss out because the system isn't always exactly precise. So when you set your rank, I like to go around 200,000. You're still gonna get the lower ones, but when you set the rank too low, a lot of times you're not getting much. A lot of these are self-explanatory. If you don't want oversized, if you don't want out of stock, I love out of stock because that gives me a chance. If I can find it somewhere and no one else has it, um, here you can deal with titles if you want. I don't use that, but I do use the profit. Um, I usually like to make at least five dollars and I like to be at at least 35 percent uh I make sure that they show Amazon out of stock products so what the difference is this out of stock here is actually the one that you want you really don't really want out of stock at the store that you're searching at so that's what what this is for I got those confused but you want this one, at least I like it, because if Amazon is out of stock, but it's but it's in stock at the store, and you got all your other things that you want, you're good to go. And then from there, all you do is go ahead and click search. And when you do, start to watch, things should populate. If not, you see how it didn't do it? This is enough to make you go, man, this is crazy because nothing happened. So when that happens, then all you do is run that again. Come back here. We'll do it again. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to delete that? Go ahead and say yes. Uh, we're going to go back to Belk. Remember guys, this is the thing that, that separates the success. Are you willing to learn and do what you gotta do to figure this out now? We're gonna, remember this should be zero. You'll go to add, that populated. And I'll put that 6% in again. And we're not gonna let this, when we get it to run, you would need to let this run for a good while before you you come back to it. That's what's great about it. If you're a working class hustler, you can get a search going, you can go to work, and when you come back, things will be, will be good. Now, it didn't do it again, so there must be something going on. There must be something that needs to be set different. So we'll try it again because I know there should be plenty to do at this website. Okay, now you see how everything is still in there? We really wanna clear that out. Okay, this time we'll go, we'll just pick some things and kind of figure out We'll add those and there they are. And you could save this search if you wanted to. That's what this area is. Uh, we'll toggle this off because that may be messing it up. I know this one isn't. We'll search. Now, you see now you got your pages. Oh, it stopped again. I don't know. It could be something going on with that site. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Because all I really wanted to do with this was demonstrate how the search works. So what we'll do is we'll go, we'll just go Walmart. 
because I just want to show you how to get a search going. It, the store wasn't that important. And honestly, I don't even search that store. So we'll say arts and crafts. We'll say, oh, now you see what happened? It won't let you search anything else because this already put over 500 categories. So if that were the case under arts and crafts, you might want to just select because you got 43 categories, subcategories right under there. OK, then you could close that. Then you might say toys. Well, actually, let's see. And if it won't let you pick, that means that if you're, you can't just pick toys that that would put you over 500. So then what you would have to do is open this up and you'd have to pick some type of toy because you don't have enough room for just the entire toys category. So you'll go add and now you see it. And if you want your adjustments, you'd put that in there. These should still all be the same. That usually won't change from one search to the next. You'll click search. And I don't know. I don't know what is going on with that. Let's see, we'll try. Maybe this one needs to be clicked over here. Uh, let's see. Just hang in there, gang, because I already got some searches going. It's just for whatever reason. We'll delete that. For whatever reason, it's just acting up and that'll happen. So just just know and be ready. Tell you what, let's try a different one. Let's try Walgreens. I kind of stay away from as seen on TV. Add to bulk search. I don't know what's going on with it. But sometimes it'll act up on you. But regardless, you guys know this is my go to software. This is the software that I use. Sometimes it'll just act weird on you. So we'll add that. Now let's just double check something. Uh, we'll put that in there. Um, I'm going to change that to 150, even though that's a little lower. Make sure we got nothing else selected that could be messing things up. We'll change the ROI to 30 and we'll get that going. And it's doing something and it stopped. You know what? We ain't gonna worry about that right now because we already have searches going, but I, there was one more I wanted to show you. Let's say you wanted to do a reverse search. You would come over right here where it says reverse search. You click reverse search. And then, for example, you could go scan best sellers. And let's say right now it's set to home and kitchen. Maybe you wanted to set it to toys and games. And once you get that set, same thing. Price adjustments, 6% for me. If you wanted to remove, now I like to remove third party sellers, make sure whatever, I still got that at $5 profit, 30% ROI, we'll click go and see if we got something going here. Now something's going on with it and I'll figure that out for the next live stream. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna view some data 
because we already got some searches going. So here's what it looks like once the product pulls, once the software starts pulling, this is what it's gonna look like. And you guys have seen me do this in other videos. For whatever reason, the software is acting a little quirky, but that's okay. This is what it looks like once it has done the search. Now, let's say you like this product. If you like it and you think you're, you're going to consider it, and I would not consider this because it's a branded, you stay away from stuff like uh, team logos and stuff like that. But let's say you were going to consider it. What I would do. is I'd hit the save, then hit saved again, and then you see how that got copied? And now if you go to your saved list, you see these products that are that are out here? Let me see, it looks like for whatever reason, it didn't save it where I wanted it. But we went, we should have put that in the save folder. Hold on. It said it was. See, it's already in there. So it's saying, do I want to remove it? But when we go to the saved list, if you don't see the product that you just saved, then there's something going on with your filters. So probably because that product was at five. And then if we click that and apply it, there it is. So if you're not seeing what you should see, a lot of times you need to go out to your filters and hold on. Oh, okay. Thanks, Hengst. He said, we, I got too many searches active, so it won't let me do another one. So there you have it. And I normally don't have that many going. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You see that? That's how family works. So anyway, I don't want this. So I'll go ahead and delete that out of there. And tell you what, what we could do since I have too many searches going, we could go to search manager. Uh, and what we could do is we could stop that search. Go yes. Um, let's see what's going on. And we could even, we'll do another one. We'll say stop search. That's been stopped. So remember, this is how you get into your search manager. And guys, we just learned something together. I wouldn't have, I never would have picked up on it. I just would have completed this video <laughs> and went back to it later or whatever. So anyway, what, how much time we got? Yeah, we're, we're looking good on time. So I tell you what, I'll go back and show you again how to do a search. Wait a minute, there are 17 searches active? Hold on a second. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of some more of those. I didn't realize that it was that many going. Let's see. Yeah, let's clean up some of this. It looks like every time I try to search, remember all those I tried? Actually, let's do this. Let's make sure we're under. Yeah, these are queued. Uh, let's see. We'll just keep stopping them. Keep stopping them. Stop.
and maybe we'll get her down to below 10 or something. Let's see how many we got going, if it'll tell us. You see this, it says, you may run 10 searches per region at once. So that's, so that, that is what I thought. I, I had said that at the beginning. I thought that. All right. So you see how you can see your number right here? That, that lets you know how many searches you got. So that's four, five, six. All right. Now we should be able to do something, guys. Okay. So now we'll go back to product search. Let's see if we can do that Walgreens again. That's actually a good place to search. Let that auto populate. We'll just pick a couple of things because it's important for you to know how to tell when the search is going right. So you add to bulk and you see how it didn't do it. So here we go with that, with that junk again. That's okay. Now it should ask you if you want to delete, you say yes. You go Walgreens baby beauty grocery blah 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 you got 298 you see that ad so you're ready to look uh it's not important but i'm just putting it in there just to show you what i would do we'll go search now you see that start then you see your pages then it'll start showing you the current page all right guys we figured it out Sometimes I need you. <laughs> All right. So let me go over here to my other screen and see if there's any. Hello, Deb. Thank you for showing up. All right. So now what we want to do, we're going to go over to our saved list. And before we go, before we go there, let me. Let me put my big head out here. Uh, hold on. Okay. So here's the deal. We're getting ready to go out to a couple of stores. And we're going to see what we can find together. So who's with me on this? I want to see in the comments. Who's actually adding products, seeing if they are approved, who's going to move so that we could start making some purchases. Remember, the inventory is the lifeblood of this business. If you're not buying anything, you're not selling anything. OK, I just demonstrated how dumb I am. But yet I'm doing revenue in the tens of thousands of dollars. So if I could do it, you can do it. But who's with me? I see nothing. You guys. I need to see some comments out here. So, we're gonna start going through our saved. So you see where it says saved list? And I want that in basic. And we're just going to go go through these. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six products. And they run the gamut as far as category. I see Sheila said, let's go. I said, I see Elux products said, let's do this. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. OK, this is what I'm talking about, guys. I need some energy, right? Okay. 
I need some energy from you guys. I want to know that we're out here for a purpose, that things are happening, right? So that's the attitude. Deborah said, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start out. Now you see how your, your store is right here. Target, 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 target. Everything's at target. That's fine because when you're sourcing, typically you're going to do a haul, right? An entire haul from one store. That way you get the free shipping. Okay. Uh, there are other stores that we searched. If you want me to go over to another store, that's fine. We can do it uh, and look at that data. But you you may not be approved for the products that I'm showing. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. If you're not, you're going to move on. If you want help, you're going to come to me. You're going to text the number on my screen and you're going to get help. Okay. But here is a Stanley Adventure uh, 1.4 quart. Look at these images. See, these don't match. That's what you got to be careful of. This says classic. This says adventure. So let's click on that and see what's going on. Now, what you could do, you could say, Stanley Adventure, what did they call it? Uh, 1.4 quart. And you could see, does Amazon even have it? I don't see it. Now, let's say you were approved for Stanley. What does that mean if you don't see it? That means you could be the person that brings it to the market. When you get big enough, you know, you might want to do that. But when you're looking, that's something important for you to notice to make sure you you're, you got the exact right product. Now, this you might be thinking, what pickles? Let me tell you something. I have done really well with food items, particularly pickles, and they're usually not very restrictive. Look at that activity on there, okay? Look at the rank in grocery and food. Look at the profit, look at the ROI. Yeah, there's a little bit of bubble wrap you're gonna have to deal with. Guess what? Remember in, in other videos where I talked about degrees of separation, you gotta have a degree of separation. What are you willing to do that others won't to have tomorrow what others don't, you see? So here we go. We just sort of went over the things that I highlight that what I want to look at. Now you'll notice this says suppressed. That's the buy box. That means, and you'll see when we go out there, that means Amazon isn't giving a buy box. I'm not a big buy box guy anyway. To me, that's a big distraction. And you got some guys, oh, I want to control the buy box. You know what? That's a quick way to make sure you're not making much, much of a margin on your, on your product. That to me, that's been my experience. But the first thing you want to do, go to the store, make sure it's at the right price. Make sure you can get it shipped. You may not be able to get it shipped. Um, looks like I can. Sometimes you can, but it's a 24 ounce Clawson dill pickle spears. Then you want to make sure it's really selling for $20 at Amazon. Look at that. You only got two people selling. Look at that rank right there. That's a widget I'm using, by the way. I talk about that in other videos. But I always click to look. Nobody is FBA. Guys, you're going to kill it if you go with this. Okay? Don't forget to check your restrictions. If you're using the software, you'll click here. Good news. Blah, blah, blah. That would be one that I would go for. And I go for that knowing that the profit might be a little bit lower than what tactical arbitrage is showing. But when you're selling 34 a month between two people, I mean, think about that. They're doing better than 15 a month. Okay. And then you're adding that to everything that you're selling on Amazon. This is how you start to build, right? 
All right, so we can go ahead and close that. We can close that. Uh, we can close that. Now we move on. Still at Target. Oster, 15 quart deep fryer. Um, you may not be approved for it. Doesn't matter. Just look at what I'm looking at. This is what I pay with tax. This is what it should be selling at. The buy box is suppressed. Good. Then, then we're not fighting to control the buy box. Amazon won't give the buy box. That means there is no buy button. You must select between the sellers. Now, remember in this, let's go back here for a second. If there's, wait, that's the wrong screen. Let's go back here for a second. If there is no buy box, you, there is no box to just say add to, co to cart. That means the customer has to look at all the buying options. And if you're the only one FBA, they're gonna put right there FBA. That puts you ahead of them and they're forcing the customer to see you versus a buy box. Think about it, with the buy box, the customer doesn't even know who you are. In his mind, he's just buying it from Amazon and he's just clicking the add to cart button. You might wanna consider suppressed buy boxes as some some of your items you really want to go to for that reason okay so here we go here's my price with tax here's what the price should be profit return on investment monthly sales look at that how many sellers are you kidding me you you're talking about two people getting 70 of these selling 70 of these a month do the math but let's see first, is this the right product? So far it looks like it, but we're gonna double check. All right. Is it at the price? Yes, it is. And don't forget to activate your, your cash back if that's the cash back you use. You might be using something else, but you're a professional shopper, always get your cash back. Now, we're gonna go to Amazon to see, is it really selling for $60? Here's your two guys. Here's your, look at that rank. Man, y'all better get on this. Resell boss babe. Hey, welcome. Hello, Dawn. Thank you for joining. Uh, Let's see here. So here we go. We're looking at our, our two sellers. None of them or FBA, you could jump in here and kill this. And what kind of profit would you be looking at? Somewhere around 20 bucks, not necessarily, a little bit less, but you can't lose with that. Now, of course, you'd have to check your restrictions and make sure you're approved. If not, you move on. For example, you might move on to this. Old Snap Pickling company hottie bites hot and spicy okay so we're back into grocery and gourmet look it now here we go if it's going to cost you 99 cents make sure if this is selling for 24 dollars basically it's got to be more than one so hover over and let everything populate that's a six count but if you can get them for a dollar it's going to cost you six dollars and if it's selling for $24, there you have it. You usually, as a rule of thumb, you want a three times markup. In other words, whatever you pay, it should be selling for three times that retail. You're doing better than that with this. If it's costing you $6, you'd be okay with 18. This is 24. So is it at Target? Now, yeah, it's gonna cost me a little bit. Actually, you know what? It wouldn't cost me this because I told it to factor in tax, but I don't pay tax on food. So 99 cents. Is it in stock for 99 cents? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, is it really selling for $23.99? Yes, it is. The rank isn't the best, but they estimate seven sales. That's okay. It's probably going to be more than that. But here are your two people. None of them are FBA. I probably would jump in right here. This guy's got 20 plus, but you're gonna beat him if you're FBA, I'm telling you. But here's what I would do. I'm just gonna uh, open up a new tab. I'm gonna go 
and type in revenue calculator because I want to make sure I'm I'm gonna have to buy six of these to to a to a bundle. Technically, that's a multi pack, but we'll just call it a bundle. So what I'll do is take the ASIN, stick it in over here, let that populate. We're gonna say it cost about a buck to send it in. It really won't once you get going. It's gonna cost us six dollars. If we jumped in with this guy. We're selling it for $23.99. We'll calculate. Look at that. Are you kidding me? $8.53? There you have it. 35% ROI. That's what I go for. Guys, this is this is a good one right here. No brainer. All right, so we'll close that. And we got two more, so let's get through them. You got... Uh, Sanitary napkins, I guess you would call that. Hey, they sell. People need them. Look at this keeper chart. You see all that all that activity? And let's see. We got to make sure the count is right. It's a picture of a 39 count. This is a picture of a 39 count. Then we got to make sure that it's at target for 11.39. And that it can be delivered that's good that's good then we got to make sure it's really selling for 3509 on Amazon and they do have some FBA I saw that uh, look at that rank you under a hundred thousand you're good look at this back ordered back ordered back ordered so you know and they're holding to a decent price so hey if you can sell it remember check your restrictions Oh, look, I'm restricted on that. But we would request approval. Only takes a second. Look, application approved. I'm out the door, guys. I'm gone. Okay. Uh, so we got one more. Let's do this. Uh, this is a multivitamin for 55 and up. Now, let's make sure we got the count right. So we hover over and let, let it all populate. 30 count. We'll hover over 30 count should be selling for 1994 at target. It is, it is deliverable. Um, what else? It should be selling for 44.98. It's a suppressed buy box. Look at your, your keeper chart. You can kind of run across and you can see where your price has been. So look at the estimated monthly sales, average rank. You got your average price. You can make money with this. You should be able to. Profit around $13.80. I'd probably be safe to tell you $10. You can go with that as long as you're approved. Check your restrictions. You're approved. Then you go on over to, to Amazon. You got three sellers. Rank is good. Right, let me get that closed. Let's look at them. Good to go. Back ordered anyway. This guy's got like 20 plus in stock. He only has three in stock. I would move on that as long as you're approved. Oh, I see Sonya. Is restricted. I don't know. Are you which product were you restricted on? Mm. Oh, I see. Um, hold on. So I got a question over here. Can we still use your code? For TA, it's not letting me. I tell you what, text me at the number on the screen, and um, and we'll get you taken care of with that. That may be something we got to work out. I don't know what what the deal is with that. We'll have to work that out. Just text me. You don't have to call if you don't want. 
and we'll work it out together. But um, let's see. Let's let's go over to our community. Let's see, I'm going to come over to my studio. And look, it. this is what's going on with your channel. I call it your channel because this channel is about you. It's not about me. I'm already doing this. It's about trying to teach you how to do it. And some of you guys know how to do it. Look, it. you were helping me. And I thank you for that. But I'm, I got a question for you, so so get ready. You, you're not getting out of this one easy today. But we're up to 536 subscribers. Um, if we got some recent subscribers that I want to shout out, uh, William G Gerald, Kevin Light, Howie Dewitt. Ender Gula, Sal Adele, Cinematic, and so on and so forth. Thanks so much for subscribing. That means you want more, and we're going to give it to you. Uh, let's see. Let's come over to some comments. And um, let me see. They're Hankst. That's my German friend. He said, Danke nochmal für ein sehr gutes Video. Dein Deutsch ist sehr gut. Mach so weiter, mein Freund. He's saying, thank you again for a good video. He tells me that my German is good. <laughs> I might beg to differ with that. Uh, and he'd like for me to continue. And I will say to you, mein Freund, also, gleichfalls nicht zu danken, uh, das freue mich, das zu machen. Und ich habe meine Frage, woher kommt, kommen Sie? Ich meine, natürlich auf Deutschland, aber welchem Land zum Beispiel, Spesart oder was, was gibt's? Thanks so much and continue to come back. Uh, discount code, we just covered that. Deborah, always excited when that notification comes up about a new video. It's my pleasure to give them. And I, you might have got to the chat a little bit late, but I did talk about a little bit about the, the computer that I got, because I think you you wanted to know um, what computer I got. You guys, whoever's been watching, you should be able to tell the computer is going a lot quicker than what it used to do look at our analytics views are ups watch time is up subscribers is up we are on the up and up so pretty much that's going to wrap this up guys like i said i wanted to keep this this video uh a little bit shorter than normal i do enough yakking on my other video that i do during the week that's supposed to be short. <laughs> uh, so here's the deal, gang. I got a question for you. And you can answer in the comments. Oh, I see. Hinks, you're from Knoxville. Okay. I'm sure there's a story behind that, <laughs> but anyway, um, how many of you guys are making the kind of money that you want to make using Amazon? I'm not going to ask you any numbers because maybe you don't want to reveal that, but are you satisfied with the amount of money that you're making? You know, you can just type yes, no, sort of, whatever it is. I, I'm, I'm just interested 
because it's I need to know this is part of our community. It's important for me to know, are you reaching your goals? Have you even set a goal? These are questions I have for you. You know, you can't hit a target that doesn't exist, you know, so. comments haven't come in yet but I will say this if you're not reaching your goals if you're not doing numbers in you know the thousands whether it's tens of thousands whatever it may be if you're not reaching your goals the question is why because it all boils down to you all right you guys know some of my sayings and one of my big ones is, Hey, you're it. That means when you say it doesn't work, look in the mirror. Cause you're it. Uh, it's not working right. It, it, this, it, that you're it. So the minute you start talking that go look in the mirror because the problem most likely is with you, you know, I see somebody said not yet. Okay, you responded, so now I'm talking to you. You know, everybody wants to say, oh, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Well, in reality, it's about what you know and who you know. If you know the right people, then you'll get the what, right? So I'm giving you an opportunity. Now you know somebody. And I'm transparent so you know the kind of numbers that I'm doing. There they are. Let's refresh that. Maybe something came in. Nope, it didn't. But, oh, I wasn't showing my screen. I wanted to show you um, what my numbers are. And um, if you're not doing at least that amount and you want to, you got to ask yourself why. You have a chance to connect with somebody and uh, are you going to make that connection? Make the connection. It doesn't matter if you don't want coaching, if you don't want to sign up for a course, if you don't want to get under under me with tactical arbitrage, just make the connection. You got nothing to lose. Have somebody in your corner that you call family that you're doing this with. Maybe you need some accountability. Maybe you do need some coaching because that's what's going to happen when you get a coach. Now you got to actually do something. Somebody's putting in their time and giving you what you paid for, what you invested in. Now you got something on the line. It's not just about talking anymore. It's not just about thinking and dreaming. You know, it's about actually doing something. So you got to ask yourself, we're spending the time here together. Now what? What happens when all the clapping stops? What happens when, when the live stream stops? What are you going to do? I'm here to tell you, I'm doing tens of thousands. And here's the reason why, because I am like a machine. I don't have time to be talking about what I don't feel like doing. I ain't got time to be lazy. I'm too busy doing. I don't think about it. I do it. You know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen tomorrow? I'm going to be out in them streets sourcing. You know what's going to happen tomorrow? I'm going to be online making purchases like a machine. And that's the way you need to do it. And if you're not doing it, here, let me let me just keep it keep it 100 with you. This is this is our community. Let's just be real. You guys already know what to do. We got over 100 videos. You know how many hours that took? We got over 100 videos. This is probably video 104. There are only so many ways to show you how to do this. And if you're still not doing it, maybe you need to invest. Okay. Think about that guys. This is all about taking action. Okay. If you are already doing this, maybe you're doing better than me, then perhaps this isn't where you need to be. But for those of you who want to make something happen, let's do this. Let me see if there's another comment. Somebody said, uh, need to be more consistent. That's what I meant when I said, Machine. Somebody said, want to make $1,200 a month profit. Let's do the math on that. Because 
you're going to spend about three times as much in inventory that you want to make in profit. So 12, 24, 36. Um, you ready to spend $3,600 a month? See, this is what happens when you start setting goals that, and now you got a target that you're actually looking at. And now you got to make a plan to get there, right? Discipline. Discipline is the thing. You don't get what you want. You get what you deserve. You get what you what you're willing to put the work in for, right? You got to be disciplined, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap this up. Uh, of course, I ended up going a little bit over. I'm going to always go a little bit over, but thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate you joining. This is going to wrap it up. There will be a replay. So... Did anybody have any questions? I'm going to wait just a little bit in case somebody had a question because this, I really love this. I really love having you guys. Oh, look. And look, while I'm running my mouth, look what happened. Now we're up to five sales. So you see how that works? If you're not out there running your mouth and having your sales go up, then we need to change that. You got the number on your screen. Whatever it is you need, we'll get you going. So remember, you don't get what you want just because you want it. You get what you want because you say that you want it, and then you must become the person capable of getting it. That's what this is all about, guys. At the end of the day, it could be Amazon. It could be whatever else. There's so many ways to make money out here. That's why America is one of the greatest places to be because of the opportunity. But you don't get what you want just because you say you want it. You get what you want because you say that you want it. And then you have to become the person that gets it, which means you're going to go through some things. That's the system that, that we live in. Don't get mad at me. I didn't make the rules. You have to go through something to get there you must become remember what i always say be careful when you hear these people oh i don't really want much uh, you don't become much you see what i'm saying is that what you want your existence to be is that what you want on your gravestone didn't want much didn't achieve much didn't become much let's do this guys let's see. Oh, there's a question. Do you set your filter for 30 or 90 days out? I'm not sure which filter you're talking about, but you must be talking about um, in tactical arbitrage. Let me see. Let me look at what she might be. <laughs> uh, Deborah, Deborah says world class hustlers unite I think you meant working class but yeah we, we are uniting that's what this is all about guys being in this chat being on this live stream means that we are currently united and Sonya We'll figure it out. You might. Oh, in TA, she's asking. Honestly, I don't really set that filter. Um, so, hey, whatever. It ain't. I, I don't set it at all. We'll get into that a little later and maybe I can come back and respond once the video becomes an archive. And you, you know, we may, we may discuss it then, but I don't, I don't deal with any filters as far as 30 day, 90 day, whatever. So I think that's it gang. I'm going to wrap it up and, uh, that's going to end this live stream. And, uh, that's it. So if you have any questions, you got my number or you can send a reply 
out there in YouTube land. You know where I'm at. You know how to catch me. And we're done. Remember guys, this is Horace with What to Sell on Amazon. Respecting your mind, your grind, and your time. I'm out.